Here's an inside look at the song Amen. As you can see, there are a lot of layers. These are these colored parts here on the right. A lot of layers in this song. And it's all kinds of things happening. At the top, we have some of our percussion. Then we have some natural sounding instruments. Then we have a bunch of audio tracks, which can include anything from vocals to guitar, piano, that kind of thing, whatever the song calls for. Now, once you have these layers, there are all kinds of things that you can do. You can pan them left or right to different speakers. You can have them come in or out. You can arrange the song however you'd like. You can even you know, drag and, and move parts or copy them. You can adjust the volume. As you can see in different sections, there's movement happening within this recording. Now on the left side, you see some of the instrument selections. Now, this is just a small number, but to give you a sample, there are things like drum machines, all kinds of synthesizers, and so on. There's unlimited options. You can shape these sounds however you'd like, which is part of the beauty of digital recording. Now, this is perhaps the most important part of your song because this lays out what happens from left to right, the order of your song. As you arrange, there's so much power, so much potential when you digitally record. Now, when you go into a recording studio, you're likely to see a vertical unit filled with devices. And here we get a physical demonstration of what that might look like. Now, of course, as you can see, as I'm scrolling up and down very quickly here, but just to give you a sense, there's a lot going on here. Now, in a recording studio, you are limited by space, but also by budget. These devices would cost a lot of money if you just had a physical rack. So the beauty of digital recording is that you're basically unlimited. It's as much as your computer can handle. So here we have at the top two reverb units and below that we have a delay unit and all these knobs can be configured, recorded, automated, whatever you'd like to do within the given song. And we have a lot more going on here with effects and our, some of our instruments here. So we're not going to go through every part here, but just to give you a quick overview of how much is happening. But I want to focus on one aspect here. Here we have one of the rack units, and this is a compressor. Now, if you go into a recording studio, you're very likely to see some variety of these. There's all kinds of different types of compressors. But the basic idea is that it will limit the volume and kind of balance it out. So you have these peaks and these valleys and an audio signal. And if you can compress that, it can become clearer for your listeners. And you can use compressors to help instruments cut through a mix. So you can apply a compressor to vocals, to drums, to bass, and everything in between. And again, you can become an expert in how to use a compressor and the various other kinds of compressors and learn which ones you prefer, which ones you want to use on a certain track and all that. But here I just want to give you a sample of what is going on behind the scenes. There's a lot happening here. And you can make your song as complex, as advanced as you'd like it to be. Because really, you can record without a compressor. It's just that adding a compressor can make your recordings even better. They can help your sound level out and really shine compared to other songs. Now, Reason also includes another feature. If you've ever been in a recording studio or maybe in a church, you've seen the mixing board. And you can purchase one. You know, you can get a four channel mixer, eight, 12, and on from there. But here in Reason, we have 
a digital representation of a mixer. Now, the beauty is this is basically unlimited. You have a track for every track here below. So they correspond with the color and you can label these and everything. Now we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. And again, we won't go through every feature here, but just to give you a sense of all that's happening and what you can do as a musician, as someone who records or produces, there's a lot that you can do. Now here at the bottom, this is the most intuitive and we're probably accustomed to this. This is volume control and you can see the different levels here. And again, you can automate these. So as the song goes on, you can program these to do whatever you'd like, or you can handwrite it in. There's all kinds of ways of doing that. But here's your basic volume control. If we move up a little bit more, you can see how some sounds are panned to certain speakers. So we have some sounds off to the right. Uh, we have other sounds in the middle. And this particular song isn't panned into stereo all that much but some songs will be more uh, more stereo or wider than others um, now as you go up there's a lot of buttons a lot happening here and it can be intimidating but basically for this song we have four effects that we are um, adding to all these channels and you can see them here on the right. Again, I won't go through all these, but it's basically reverb and an echo. And you can decide what to put it on and how much. And then we have EQ. Now there's all kinds of different types of EQ. Some prefer this style, other prefer more of a visual style. And so you have some uh, ability to adjust this depending on the song, depending on your preference. Uh, but again, this is another feature that you can really delve into. How do you EQ? How do you adjust the frequencies of each of these tracks to sound their best? So again, this is just a quick overview. Um, you can see that the powers there, the ability to record is almost unlimited uh, based on your creativity, based on the computer that you have, but there's so much that can be done. The nice thing about software like Propellerhead Reason, Ableton Live, is that you can really simplify this. You can have just one or two tracks. You could have guitar and vocals. You can add as you go. So there's no reason to be overwhelmed. You start simple, you add each track as you go, you build your song slowly because what you see here was hours and hours of work. Uh, so this is a lot happening. And so although it can feel or look overwhelming, you're looking at an end product after many hours are put in. It all started with one track and then you add another track and you keep going from there. So this is a quick overview of the song Amen. Some of the things happening behind the scenes what some of the tracks look like, and the process that is involved in digital recording.